Good morning, Miss Peggy here. How y'all doing? Welcome back to my channel. I want to thank all the new subscribers and all the old subscribers. And while you're here, hit that like button down there. But be sure and hit the subscribe button, please. So today is Tuesday, um, December the 29th. And I went penny shopping. And, uh, you know, we had the... Um, Kiss cereal and the two P3 snacks. So I went to look for them because I knew I had seen a lot of that cereal and I knew I had seen a lot of those P3s. So um, I went to um, 15 stores yesterday looking for those P3s because I got some last year and they are so good. I definitely wanted some this year. So before we get started, I want to talk a minute. I want to thank Bonnie for my letter. I did sit down and I read your letter. And um, I have a girlfriend that is in a motorcycle club in Houston, in Austin, Texas. And she went to that Sturgis motorcycle rally. And um, I, I know a lot about that because uh, Robert used to watch that. Um, oh... I'm sorry, Bonnie, I just forgot the name of it, but it's the um, Sturgis um, Motorcycle Rally. I forget what town it's in, but um, something would. My, Robert used to watch uh, that uh, show um, about that Sturgis Motorcycle uh, place up there. And I used to watch that show with him, a little, Deadwood, that's the name of it. I'm so sorry my mind went blank. But you talk about that in your letter here um, with um, that um, place up there. Man, you've got a lot of stuff up there in that South Dakota. And I have been looking at this book. And I do love it. And I keep it right there uh, so that I can look at it. And I'm so excited, and I would love to go to South Dakota. Maybe Robert and I can go up there before too long. But um, I want to thank you, Bonnie, for that. So I got a uh, another card from Connie Gillstrap. And Connie is the one. Let me see if I can turn it over here. Connie is the one that gave me my Cowtown Teddy right there. So I want to thank you for that, Connie. I love it, and I not I not forget about you. So she lives in Indiana, Indiana, Indianapolis, Indiana. That'd be a cool place to live, Indiana, Indi, Indi, Indi Indian, Indianapolis, Indianapolis. That's a that's a hard word for me to say. But she sent me a Christmas card. <coughs> Look how sweet that is. Isn't that pretty? I love Christmas cards. And if it shines with Christmas sparks and it makes your season bright, if it's all about the love that surrounds the world with light, I do believe in Santa. My mom and dad always told me when I was a kid growing up, if you don't believe in Santa Claus, he don't come. So, I always believe in Santa Claus. And uh, when I got my first daughter-in-law, she didn't believe in Santa Claus either. And I told her, or we, my husband and I told her, if you don't believe in Santa Claus, he don't come. So, she believes in Santa Claus now. So, that's just wonderful. So, um... This is from, there's no name on it. I swear I can't read that. But thank you so much for that. And family, so thank you so much. That's a lovely, I love poinsettias, aren't they beautiful? Oh, okay, let's see, it's Sheila, oh, okay, Sheila and family, okay, Miss Sheila, thank you so much, Sheila, um, she lives in Atlanta, Georgia, and my sister-in-law lives in Atlanta, Georgia, 
So that's a good place to live. Now this card is from Jennifer. Thank you, Jennifer, from Raleigh, North Carolina. Roanoke Rapids. Roanoke Rapids, North Carolina. Well, have y'all ever been rapid uh, inner tubing it down the river? That is so much fun. Texas does that a lot. We got the Guadalupe River and, and things that uh, we inner tube down. So, isn't that pretty? Look at that. That's a very pretty card. I like that. Thank you. Jennifer. So, you know, these Christmas cards have really helped me to get to know y'all. I feel like I know y'all better now. And uh, helps me uh, get to know each and one of you. Thanks for sharing all you do. And Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. From the Harris family. Jennifer. Thank you so much, Jennifer. That's so sweet. Thank you for that beautiful card. Um, you know, I'm hanging these cards on the back of my front door. And it is all the way to the top and this far from the bottom. Now, I'm going to show you all a picture of that so that you all can see. I started to do this video in front of my door today, but um, I got too many penny items to carry in there. So, is this going to be a little messy and a little hard? So, this is from Betty. Thank you, Betty. Look at that. Nice barn. You know, my sister-in-law had a barn kind of like that up in Ohio. It's the coolest barn I'd ever seen. So, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you for all that you do, Miss Betty. Thank you, Miss Betty. I just love that card. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And Miss Betty lives in Colburn, Virginia, by Knoxville, Tennessee. Wow, I've been through Virginia. No, have not. I've been through Tennessee. And I've been through Kentucky. So, that's beautiful. Thank you so much. And this one is from Altman, Indianapolis. Now, I think this is a friend of mine. I'm not sure, but I really think this is a friend of mine. And um, I'm not sure if I remember his last name or not, but... Oh, look at that. Look, that kind of looks like my Dollar General camper. I've got the Penny camper. It's out on my back porch, and i got Christmas lights all across it like that. That's so pretty. From Indiana. Merry Christmas, Miss Peggy and Robert. Love your YouTube channel and appreciate all the work and information that you give. I, live, I lived in McKinney. Oh, okay, nine years ago. McKinney's just north of Dallas. I've got relatives that lives in McKinney. But then we, nine years while working for Texas Instruments. Oh, isn't that funny, uh, Pam? Um, Pam, okay, Pam. Um, I used to work at Texas Instruments, too, in the 70s, um, but moved back home to be closer to family. Well, thank you, uh, Pam. And, you know, that's what I did when I uh, worked for a living before I started penny shopping at my YouTube channel. Uh, from the time I was 21 until I uh, quit working in the factories, um, I worked for Texas Instrument. I worked for Moz Tech. I worked for National Semiconductor. And I uh, worked for Johnson & Johnson. So I have been in the technic technology industry most all of my adult life, and I'm pretty good at computers. I can't program, but I am pretty good at operating computers, and um, I think that might help me with my editing on YouTube some, but uh, I was always a lead and a trainer. I built memory chips for computers, and uh, that's what I did for a living, so I know if you worked at Texas Instruments that you probably worked in electronics too, so we have that in common, Pam. So, that is so sweet, and that brings back a lot of memories for me all the way back, 50 years back. So, that is so sweet. So, we probably didn't work there at the same time, but um, that is always going to be a place that touches my heart fondly because when I go visit my sister, I have to go right by Texas Instruments to get to my sister. She lives in Plano, and um, so it brings back old memories for me whenever I getting off at 635 on to 75 to go to Plano. So that is so sweet. So thank y'all for my Christmas cards. I really appreciate that. I love y'all for it. 
and even though Christmas is over and we're not going to be getting the Christmas cards anymore, I am still going to keep my address up there so that if y'all feel like you want to send me something, if you want to send a card or you just want to send a letter and tell me what you've been finding on penny shopping, whatever, I'm going to keep that open so that y'all can still stay in contact with me. I'm not going to be able to send all of y'all cards anymore because that got kind of expensive and I didn't, <laughs> I didn't for the life of me ever dream that I would get 50 cards in the mail. So, um... I do appreciate it, but next year I'm not going to promise to send y'all cards back because there's way more of y'all than there, than there is of me. So y'all send one stamp, I have to send 50 stamps, so that gets kind of costly for me. But I love y'all, and I wouldn't trade this one for the world. But anyway, let's get to the penny shopping because that's what we did. Now, the first five stores I went to yesterday, I didn't find nothing. So, the managers pulled all those cereals, and they pulled all the P3s. My Dollar Generals don't even have a place for those P3 snacks to even hang by the beef jerkies or anywhere anymore. I think they just got rid of them, because if you're not going to find them in the clearance aisle, you're probably not going to find them on a peg hook in the regular aisle, because I don't think they carry them anymore. I might be wrong, but I just don't think they are. But... I did get this toothpaste, this caressed toothpaste. This is the uh, $2 one. It's a cavity protection. This is a cool mint. This is a $2 crest. Now, I don't know if this is a glitch or not, but this $2 crest, and let me show you the, the barcode for it, is attaching to that... Um, $2 coupon. So this is $2. This is a $2 coupon. And it is attaching to this crest, which is making this free. So I got a tube of toothpaste for free. Now this toothpaste is pretty big. Uh, it's a 5.7 ounce. So um, it's, it's pretty big. So that's a lot of toothpaste. So I actually did this twice because I've got Robert's coupon and my coupon now. I mean, my Dollar General app because he's got a phone now. So um, <clears throat> that makes that absolutely free. So y'all make sure you do that. Now, this next store that I went to, I did the coupon because it's free. So I got two of them. And these... I just love it when they have these. These is my go-to fabric softener. I love Snuggles. Um, my daughter-in-law turned me on to Snuggles years ago, and I used to use those little um, little um, clean things that you just pull out and throw in the dryer. But I have switched to this. So these are four fifty regular price, four fifty. Right now, they've got two of these for $4 each. So, it's two of them for $8, which would reg regularly be $9. So, they're giving you a dollar off in the store discount right now. So, um, then they've got a $3 off coupon. So, the, the dollar off would make it... Um, be nine dollars so a dollar off is going to make it eight dollars and another three dollars off is going to make two of these for five dollars instead of 450 each you're going to get two of them for five dollars so that's all that's on here except my toothpaste so i got toothpaste and two of these snuggles for five dollars and 40 well it's five dollars and 41 cents after tax so if you use Snuggles and you, you can use them, go get these because they are a deal. So when they have them, I try to stock up on them because that's my preferred one. So now then this store is the only store that I found these. So this was like the fifth or sixth store that I went to. Um... Yeah, it's like 
eighth, the eighth store that I went to. I went to eight stores before I found these. And these are the only ones that I found. And these are the original beef jerkies. And they're the black and red ones. So, I was hoping to find more of those, but I just didn't. And here's my receipt for the penny P3s. Now, I was disappointed in that, but I did do this coupon twice because I've got my coupon and Robert's coupon. So I got four snuggles and I got four toothpaste. I mean, two toothpaste and four snuggles. Now, while I was in there, I was at the clearance aisle looking for, and this was laying on the pin, on the clearance aisle. It was just laying there on a the shelf. And I was like, oh, those are pretty and they look like fall. And I picked them up and there's the fall tag. So you know that these are a penny. So if you look on the back, you can see it says F20. That stands for fall of 20. And these are a penny. So if you find any of these, make sure you scan them. Now, I got two penny items at this store. And this was in the clearance aisle just sitting on a shelf. And this is one of those little purses that's waterproof that you can put your cell phone in and take it to Six Flags or to the water park or wherever. It's going to keep your little cell phone dry. It's a yellow dot. And the yellow dot is summer of 20. And you know that the yellow dots that say S20 have penny. So keep your eye out for the yellow dots S20 because they're still out there. So um, I got the two snuggles and then I got the two uh, penny items. And you can see I only paid $5.00. And two cents. We're actually it came to five forty three after tax. So that's an excellent deal. Now at this store, look what I found these. These are the deviled eggs containers. Now these were in the Christmas aisle, stacked up in two stacks with the Christmas stuff. Now they got these egg, deviled egg things in red and green. But what caught my eye is this one is blue. It's not red and it's not green. And when I picked it up, if you look at it, there it has that green dot on it right there. That green dot Tells you that it is a summer of 20 and it's penny. So I, I scanned it and it was a penny. Here's another one. It's a green dot. And then I found another one. These were with the Christmas. Now, as I was looking, this one's pink. Christmas is red and green. And this is like, that's not red. It's more of a pink. So I scanned it. And it was a penny. And then got another one. See the green dot? And another one. Still a green dot. Another one. Still a green dot. And all I had was one of those little yellow hand carry baskets because I haven't been finding that much penny stuff in the last couple of weeks. So I just thought, well, I'm not going to need a big cart on wheels because I'm not going to be finding that many pennies because we've been running kind of slim on the penny stuff. So these all wouldn't fit in that little yellow <laughs> container. So, I had to carry some in my hand, and then I stacked them like this in the basket as big and high as I could, and then I just did my best carrying it. It was kind of awkward getting it to the register, but y'all keep your eye out for these. 
look for the green dot and um yeah so i got two four six eight nine of these and they are all green dots so i was excited about that i was like whoopee man i couldn't believe it but they did have the ones that are for christmas the green green ones and the red ones and they don't have the green dot on them they have the stickers just like this but there's no green dot on the black line right there it is just plain so then i went to another store i don't know what i did with my here it is my receipt for these but you can see there's the barcodes if you need the barcodes you got the uh, blue ones and the pink ones so that was a really good find and then I went to this other store and they had this sitting on the clearance aisle and I scanned it and this is just a container that you keep in the refrigerator and put your in your pantry to keep stuff in and i would never seen one of these before but i scanned it and it was a penny so here's the barcode for it if you want to punch it into your um dollar general app you know on the page where the scanner comes up right above the scanner is a little deal where you can punch in the barcode hit that and it'll come up and you can type the barcode in there so you can see if it was a penny so I was really excited about um, about that because I'm going to put some stuff in there in my refrigerator. Now, this is the last store I went to. And um, I found six more pennies. This was the last store I went to out of 14 stores. I, I left at 7.45 yesterday and I didn't get back till after 1 o'clock. So I was penny shopping for a long time. It takes a while to go to those stores. But... This door in on the clearance rack. Uh, some of them have a clearance aisle. Some of them have a clearance rack. It's wire rack. Now, some stores have both. The wire racks are in the front of the store or in the back of the store. I have one store that has a rack in the middle of the store. But I found these. These are from football. And they are. Now, some of the football napkins and stuff have not pennied. But when I saw these, I was like, well, they're fall, but it says football. Well, I'm going to scan them just to see, and it was a penny. Now, here's the barcode for it, and they had, uh, I found two of them like this, and I found two of them like this. <clears throat> Isn't that cute? I just love that. Now, let's see if these barcodes are the same. Two, nine, two, nine, six, six. Yeah, they've all got the same barcode. So they are all the same. But isn't that cute? Now, these are just like little snack trays. These snack trays would be perfect for football games. They'd be good for um, New Year's Eve party. They'd be good for birthday parties, whatever. Uh, these are nice little serving trays, so... I think these are going to be some Christmas presents next year because I know some people that like football and they probably need a snack tray. So these are going to go on my Christmas stuff. So let's see. Here is the football. And you can see that they all have the same barcodes on them. So aren't we excited? Even though we didn't have much. And I was really disappointed. I wanted some of that cereal. Let me tell you, my number one store that I go to that's really close to my house, I could actually walk there if I wanted to, um, they had a box of that cereal. And I took it straight up to the register. And um, I had punched in the barcode into my phone at 6 o'clock in the morning. So I verified that these were a penny. Um, I scanned it in the store to make sure it was a penny and I was at the right store and when I got to the register that cereal the Hershey's Kiss cereal rang up for two dollars and seventy cents I was shocked 
because I had already scanned it and I knew it was a penny. I knew it before I left the house because it's on the penny list. But, and I told her, I was like, well, that can't be right. And she's like, well, it says 260. I said, I know, but, <laughs> I was like, it shouldn't be. And she's like, well, that's what it rang up. I go, well, I don't want it. I said, never mind, I don't want it, because I scanned it, and it didn't scan that, so never mind, I don't want it. So she was like, well, what did it scan? I said, it scanned a penny. And uh, the only reason I can come up with, with that, because I've been doing this for two years, is uh, that store has never done that to me before, is I think they got a new manager. This is two weeks a new manager's been there. She's come from another store. Actually, she come from my number seven store. And I already knew her face, and uh, she's been there for two weeks. Well, I think that she didn't turn her register off. If they don't turn their register off the night before, that stuff is not going to scan a penny at the register. It's going to scan whatever it was the day before, because when they turn the register off at night, and they turn it back on in the morning, it resets everything so that it resets at the new price so that's the only thing i can think of but i didn't argue with the lady at the register she wasn't the manager and you can't really do anything about them not ringing up a penny at the register so just cut your losses be nice to them and just tell them never mind you don't want it and thank you and i left so i didn't want to make a big scene with her because they can't override what the register does. It doesn't matter if it's a penny or it's not. They're not going to override it. They're not supposed to override it. I have seen some that do. I got one that did with that alcohol months and months ago. But um, the alcohol and the hand sanitizer is the only ones that I've ever experienced that don't ring up a penny at the register when they did on the app. So... Download the Dollar General app. It's a big yellow square app. It says DG in the box. Download that app. Open it. Go down to the bottom of the page. Click the list. And then when you get under the list, it'll be highlighted yellow. Then go back to the top and hit those three little barcodes. I find I have less problem scanning stuff under the list than I do if I'm scanning under the home or under the page with the coupons or whatever. So... Y'all go get you some of this free toothpaste and uh, get you some of that $5 snuggles for two for, for five dollars. And also they have um, the goldfish glitch. Now uh, they're usually like four bucks a bag, but they've got like two for three dollars, and that is a glitch. And they've got um, a coupon for it, but I don't like those goldfish. So I'm not going to do them because I, I don't eat them and I don't need them. So <laughs> if you need them, do them. If you don't need them, you can do them and then donate them if you want. But anyway, that's all Miss Peggy's got for today. We love penny shopping. We get a new list every Friday or Saturday. Goes into effect on Tuesday mornings. When can you go penny shopping? Of course, on Tuesday. That's the best chance to get what's on the penny list for that week. But when can you go penny shopping? Any day you want. I've proven over and over again that you can find those pennies even after they penny. So, be there, be there, be there. I love y'all. Adios from North Texas. And goodbye from Cowtown. And I will see y'all when we get a new penny list, which is going to just be in a few more days. So take care, and I love y'all. Bye now.